You excited about Plymouth? I am. I'm excited to like be in a place that has so much history. Oh, you know, just everyday things. Big warship going by. Panda! I think this is where the Mayflower departed from Plymouth to go to the New World. Oh my God, the sky. Wow. This is Thanksgiving. So excited. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, huh? Happy Thanksgiving. Well, we have left Falmouth and done a day sail going east to um, Plymouth. So Plymouth, turns out, is pretty dang historic. We were looking up some information and since it's close to Thanksgiving time, Thanksgiving is just this week, um, interestingly the Mayflower sailed from Plymouth. And all kinds of naval history uh, is here in Plymouth. So yeah, excited. We're going to be visiting here for next couple days and yeah do some exploration but we're just sailing into the port now beautiful like sunny day and uh, find an anchorage and yeah explore the city Are you excited about Plymouth? I am we've done so much research and I'm excited to like be in a place that has so much history the steps of of uh, the pilgrims that boarded the Mayflower that's pretty cool oh and there's been like a ton of uh, war history here as well, and then famous explorers. Have uh, a full complement of sails out. Beautiful sun out. We actually gained quite a bit of solar today, like, which is really rare for this time. <laughs> And we're towing Rocco. Rocco's been doing great without the motor. And we're just tacking up the bay, harbor. There's a anchor boat out here. A couple other sailboats. Damn, panda boat's doing awesome. So make our way upwind. Hello, buoy. Hi. That one's called New Ground. I hope you don't the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were gonna hit it, so we had to just go downwind a bit. as far as we can sail all the way up behind Drake's Island and now we've entered the channel the wind has just kind of died uh, we're like this close to the city so that was a really good sail tacking all the way up the bay wow gorgeous time of night just dropping the anchor now we're trying to place ourselves in the middle of this like mooring field, a little difficult, but we're gonna drop the anchor and see how we swing. It, it looks like there's tons of water, but it gets very shallow, uh, just not too far from here, so. 
And yeah, it is just like stunning outside. For the UK in November, it is like perfect. There's no wind. It's totally sunny. It's like not a cloud in the sky. And yeah, this is just beautiful. I didn't get this thing on. And uh, you know, after sailing 10,000 nautical miles, we still have to show Panda how to put on a PFD. Yep, that's it. Oh, this doesn't <laughs> seem like a life-saving device. So simply puts on. Like, you know, when you belay yourself, like, on rocks, you have a lot more equipment. And it's, like, really goes up the crotch and straps yeah, you in. Take that thing. Seems. Uh -huh. That's not the buckle. They really shouldn't put the buckle that close to the inflatable. <laughs> and five minutes later on this episode, Panda has her life put jacket on. Ooh, I'm so safe now. So safe. All right, so we have garbage loaded. The dinghy is ready with a lock. I have the backpack. Did you get the GoPro? Oh, you have. The I'm GoPro. recording. <laughs> Can I get the GoPro? Is that uh, water off? Heater, I know, is off. You turn the heater off. I didn't turn the water off, though. I turned the water off. Okay. Well, I'm gonna double check this. I have ADHD. just on a walkway that was built 300 years ago. <laughs> just like blows my mind. Yeah. I found like a opening where it's like a tunnel and just goes under the mountain. It's all gated off. It's crazy. It goes way in there. It's so cool to explore. Yeah. And creepy. <laughs> yeah, I read a plaque that said during World War II they dug extensive tunnels here uh, to protect like I guess the command leaders in this area. As Plymouth was severely bombed and raided frequently, so it was uh, yeah important to have those types of defenses. Wherever we go, we don't know what it is and then we like find the information board and then educate ourselves so is it the redoubt the redoubt the site is partially reconstructed rebuilt re redoubt smaller artillery fort is what that means i guess this is freaking beautiful today and walking up a hill is like a big task now. Ugh. We're out of shape. <laughs> okay, we have made it to a co-op. It's like been our store of preference here. And this is like the coolest co-op store I think I've ever seen. Okay, well we got our Thanksgiving shopping, I think, mostly done. We got some sourdough bread, sweets, eggs, beer, wine. Yeah, we promise there's actual food below all the beer and wine. But most of Thanksgiving is just that anyway, right? So, okay. Happy Thanksgiving to us. And, no? No. Oh, it's still all right here. <laughs> okay, well, we're here on board. Oh my God, the sky. Wow. Okay, this is worthy of an outside shot. Look, back outside. <laughs> oh, jeez. Look at this. The winter in England. Oh my god. Oh. So we're running the generator. You can see it just on our fore deck. It's a little loud and noisy, but before we used to run it back here and it just was way loud inside. So putting it way forward, it's much quieter inside, which is nice. Our boat is a nice, real cozy home right now. We have music playing, the wine and the beer is open cooking, the heat is on, yeah, just really good festive oh, mood. God. I might have killed it. Did I kill it? Nope, it's okay. Every time we start the 
generator. Every time we start the cooking, I have to turn the generator down so that it doesn't trip our little generator. Well, we're a little low, but also this meal is gonna be very energy intensive. If I don't think we've... <laughs> I don't think we've made such an intense meal before. And I'm gonna stay over here. <laughs> we have gravy, kids green bean casserole, <laughs> mashed potatoes, some bacon, cranberry sauce, Chicken drumsticks in thighs, and then this we've already started eating because it's actually really good. It's stuffing, and it's the stuffing that is British. They form them into balls sometimes, I guess. We just went for the traditional bake of it. It looks really good. This is Thanksgiving! So excited! <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, huh? Happy Thanksgiving! Yeah, our first Thanksgiving on the boat. I know. In a faraway land. Yeah, it's really nice though. In Plymouth, where the first pilgrims set sail from. Yeah. It's so a, it's very fitting. It's very fitting. This is one foreign land to spend Thanksgiving. It's in Plymouth. Definitely here. England. <laughs> All, right. All right, now we're gonna feast up. So, cheers. Rain or shine, we wanted to see what Plymouth had to offer, besides its breathtaking views, and it did not disappoint. Learning more about its varied and deep history, we wandered in and around the city over the next several days. This is the original picture, the four band members, and then we can see Panda! I like these little... Butt cats. Yeah, they've made, very decorative. Copper butt <laughs> <laughs> Right, we are at a big memorial for Sir Francis Drake. He was a Sir British sailor who <laughs> circumnavigated the world. In honor of the Navy and to the abiding memory of these ranks and ratings of this port who laid down their lives in the defiance of the empire and have no other grave than the sea and their comrades of Australia, South Africa, Newfoundland, India, Pakistan, Ceylon, Fiji, Gold Coast, Hong Kong, Kenya, Malaya, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, and Burma, whose names are here recorded. Wow, it's quite the more war memorial. Plaques go on and on here. After a lot of walking and learning, we worked up quite the appetite. That's your perfectly wrapped sandwich for you. And of course, one of the best parts of Thanksgiving is the leftover Thanksgiving sandwiches. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh. Good. Oh. Mm. There are people there. They are swimming. That's super cold. I don't know how people are swimming in the ocean right now. It's like, well, the ocean is 56 degrees. And they're enjoying it. They're, they're just lounging around like it's a normal day. These aren't the first people we come upon that were swimming today either. Like, I don't get it. But swimming in cold water is just not my thing. Okay, walk this way. We were also lucky to meet up with some fellow young cruisers in the area, Camilla and Duncan on SV Serafina. We had a really lovely hike with them from Mount Batten along the coastal path. It was amazing to us how rural it can get just outside of such a big city and port. And yet again, the hills were really giving us a healthy challenge. And it was a good thing too, because we needed to burn off some of those extra delicious Thanksgiving calories. And cruisers weren't the only friends we made. We also had some curious neighbors in the Anchorage. Oh my gosh! What's up guys? How are you doing? <laughs> hey. 
that seal like lands there every day just to hang out. That's like his pontoon. <laughs> You look so sleepy. <laughs> Alright, we've landed in downtown Plymouth and we're just trying to properly secure Rocco here. So we put a like a long bike lock kind of deal on this post and then we have a long pennant line, painter line up to that thing with a million hitches. Because <laughs> it's a big tide and we're like right at low tide, so it's kind of a little bit tough. You can see these steps are pretty tall, so it's a lot of room for the tide to come in. Already since we've been here, this this little floating rock thing is, is already submerged. When we came in, it was, uh, it was exposed, yeah. There we go. And sailing in off season makes you do these kind of things. Usually that pontoon would be attached to that. <laughs> All right, now we're ready to go. <laughs> Plymouth's extensive past dating back to as far as the Bronze Age has seen significant growth, many famous figures, and became the center of commercial shipping, handling of imports, and passengers from the Americas since the Mayflower Pilgrims departed for the New World in 1620. It's well known for its maritime heritage, large naval base, and historic Barbican district with narrow cobbled streets. We have the citadel right behind us. We can't go in, but we're able to walk around the outskirts of this. And there's so many people out. It's crazy because this is still in lockdown technically, but it feels like normal times. And it's the weekend, everyone's out and about. It feels good because <laughs> you get to feel a little normal for a change. And people are out sailing, boating. It's a beautiful sunny day. I can't get enough of it. So we packed our lunches again and we're enjoying them at the Hope. Um, e, B, and J <laughs> with banana. Mm. And we have a great view looking the bay. There's a ton of sailboats out sailing extremely slow because there's like no wind. I think this is a wonderful day. There are even some paddle boarders out there. Paddle boarders, kayakers. Swimmers. Swimmers. That's right. We're just going to enjoy the view. what it was about Plymouth, but we really vibed with it, and it felt like home. The amazing sunsets definitely helped, and we could certainly not get bored with all that the city had to offer. Until next time, Plymouth. Cheers!
gonna enter my inner channel. I'm gonna channel my inner Biden. <laughs> Darren really likes PBJ sandwiches. I grew up not with those things. Didn't eat them, didn't like them. Oh, we also got hot crossed buns. I thought that was just a I thought that was just a song that you play on the recorder. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns, but it's an actual thing. Check these out. The actual hot cross buns. However you want to stuff your stuffing. Intense. <laughs> what do we have? <laughs> it looks like we have Cheerios around our green bean casserole. <laughs> anyway. There's real ice cream close. This little girl has little ice cream. Where's the ice cream? Darren ruins it for me. <laughs> Go ahead. He's so mean. Go ahead. Like a slave driver. <laughs> I love Darren. <laughs> Throw me a bone here. Well, they actually did. <laughs> 